Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. According to your email, this is a rework. Cool, cool, cool. She's got the black. <laughs> nice. I like that. It's a bit longer. Nice. Yeah, I talked about that. The placeholder here. In our show, uh, adding a large shadow. You're saying there will be a large shadow coming. That's like, that's nice. I like that. A little bit of a looming, pending doom here. And flatten the terrain a bit. So it's not on that rocky thing. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you're going to flatten that. Cool. I like this rework. So my main thing is just timing. There's lots of floatiness. Let me start from, big, from the beginning here. So watch out timing where she really speeds in. But it comes to a sudden stop. I will make this a bit more playful. And you can even come in. She might be a lot smaller too. Coming in. Just a nicer arc. But a nicer path. And you can smooth that out. And uh, by maybe having her here and smaller, it gives us a more it gives us a bit more time. I would steal some frames through this section here. I'll talk about that later. But you can put that in here to add more frames that make it a bit slower. Let me see. This also feels a bit weird. Where she's, it's almost like she's trying to sneak over some spikes here, and then she suddenly goes down. Ready? And that's sounding really, really fast there. So lots of little timing issues there. So we keep this more playful, whatever path you want to have. I mean, you can also... I do you want to rework this. Again, this just feels like because she's stretching so much, it's like she's trying to pass something she doesn't want to touch versus she just comes in and then lands. This might be easier to go straight forward. She comes in, ready, ready, haha. Uh -huh. So yeah, just in terms of, you can make this action-y where she comes in and keeps on moving. Maybe like a slight timing change with like a slight pause there. And then comes in so that this, she lands here, but the body's around here. So you can still have a bit of a reach, but it's more because she wants to reach down for the landing and not reach this way because why would she just land here i think that's kind of what i'm reacting to that's all cool this gets into the swimminess it's like the arm and the and the weapon just kind of flops around the knee doesn't have a pin here that is a bit funky in terms of the mechanics how she switches into that knee sliding there that's already some good extra thing but again it feels a bit floppy <laughs> i say this and i'm just animating a backpack being floppy but i'm all about floppiness there but it just seems like this would be really locked and tight to her back so she can fly around. If this is this loose, she would have really difficulties flying. So I would reduce that by at least half. And again, just a bit too constant moving around where you don't have a... Huh. 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 It's just that constant movement just makes it very unfocused. Mechanics-wise, watch out. She brings out this foot... Hold on, I'm putting it backwards. She brings it out back here, right? Then she gets up, but she's really leaning this way. So she's going to have to get up a bit faster and then take a step over here to be balanced. If you watch this in, in real time, it's, it's a bit slow being fairly off balance. She's really leaning, but then she's suddenly straight again here. So you got to watch out how that weight shift is going to work out. That I like that timing a lot here. Uh-huh. That's all cool. Again, a bit floppy on the back. Feels a bit overextended on those legs. Watch out for those. And she has a very floaty move up. Watch her root and her chest, even the head. So again, hold, hold poses. So uh -huh, we can just focus on that. I would probably rotate that wrist around so it's a bit more profile straight at us. And then you got to look at if this shoots, it's going to rotate back bring down that arm this way which brings down that arm this way which is going to bring down the shoulder it's going to rotate the chest down a bit this way with a slight rotation away from us in y and all of this will have the head drag so look at the mechanics of this moment this is kind of fun here huh but then i would bring this out and bring that arm and flatten that gun so she can look at it like this side is more at us this is just a really broken wrist for a reaction, I would probably bring out that arm for a clear silhouette. It's a bit muddy there because of the white. And this is really slow and floaty. And then it's two actions. She's looking, maybe, 
Now she's about to use this, but also this goes down, killing the silhouette. So I would, what is she doing? She has to do this. I would just start putting the gun. Now she waits and then gun in first, then brings up the arm. And she can already prepare to go out. So I would technically do, personally, subjectively, I would bring in that arm, holster it. And as she brings on that arm afterwards, she's already turning her chest and her root. Because she's already anticipating, I gotta get out of here. She might even take a step potentially, but just imagine this is rotated over, chest rotated over, already leaning over this way. It's okay to be off balance because she's going to go off. Also, if that's the foot placement and she goes off, I would rotate these a bit over. So it doesn't feel like she's translating over. It's a bit more of a path out versus kind of sideways move. And then look at the mechanics. If these are firing, it's going to translate the backpack up first. It's going to bring up her chest with a slight drag on the head. And then it will go over. Just kind of look at an, an overlapping of actions. More like a sequential, you know, happening of things. All right. And that's great. I love that. So much better. I'm a really big fan of that rework. It's really nicely done here. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.